I'm Solomon. I'm a sport administrator and a student living here in Tbilisi. Georgia have a tradition. We, uh, we are also rich in tradition in Africa. You know, we dance, we sing like Georgia do, and uh, what other thing? We have palm wine, you also have palm wine. So uh, I think it's uh, a prototype of Africa. I I'm still much uh, at home here. I feel at home here. Oh, no, it's not. Um, in Georgia, the women uh, seems to be more hardworking than the men. And, uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of uh, differences. The men still wants to prevail over the women. Yeah. Compared to what we have in Africa, compared to what we have in the civilized world. Yes, um, economic-wise, I think uh, Georgia has a developing uh, economy. I think in 2010, um, during the era of uh, the outgoing president, uh, Mikhail Shakashvili, uh, 2010, Georgia was uh, given an award of one of the developing uh, economy in the world by the World Bank. Um, I think this is... Uh, a, an instance for Georgia to be considered uh, to join the European nation. And also there are many foreign investors that are coming in here to Georgia now. Uh, Georgia is looking for more foreign investors and they are coming in in their number. Uh, international students are increasing and also uh, so many developments uh, in terms of tourism and you know m many people are coming into Georgia now. I think in the Caucasia, in the Caucasus uh, region now, uh, Georgia have a very good uh, development that can qualify them to be part of Europe. I think I like the outgoing president. <laughs> I, I like him up to his standard. Uh, <laughs> Who but, but don't put that anyway. <laughs> I don't want you, you to put that. <laughs> don't put that anyway. <laughs> I like him because of uh, the drastic development that uh, Georgia experienced during its era. Um, in terms of uh, structural development, in terms of policies that were put in place, you know, all these were recognized by the United Nations, by America. He really, um, uh, he really uh, put in place a lot of policies that are well recognized by the uh, by the world generally. And I think he got a lot of awards towards this. I think that is why. Yes, of course, I have four years to live in Georgia uh, and I can live here more than four years. I am here to study and when I got here, I discovered that there are a lot of things that I can also do uh, to uh, strengthen the economy and to contribute to the development of Georgia. I have a registered company here as a student. Uh, I want to contribute my quota to the development of business and, you know, I just look at it, what can I do while I'm, I'm studying in Georgia? Yeah, being the central part of Europe, uh, I think it's a very good environment for business. Although uh, there are a lot of things that are still lacking, but uh, let's not focus on what is lacking. Let us concentrate on what we can do to see to the betterment of the nation, to um, join hands and take the nation forward. I want to recommend uh, Georgians, uh, I want to recommend this country for them to come and establish their businesses. Uh, Georgia is at the central part of Europe, you know, close to Asia, close to, uh, very close to us, already in Europe anyway. <laughs> So um, they can come and set up their business. Uh, if they are focused, I believe 
in the, the upcoming future, uh, it will very it will be uh, a, a very good. They will have a very good economy uh, development that will sustain their businesses. I think um, <clears throat> um, that will start from generally generally from uh, it's everybody have to contribute you know uh, the mentality uh, you shouldn't see your country as uh, uh, a desert or as a place where you believe it is only government that can do everything instead uh, you should join hands together and look at what you can do personally to develop the economy what can you do to contribute to the development of the nation. Isabre Shakat Fialesi speak up about Georgia.